What's good, YouTube and Twitch? We have another one for you. We have Nad Ear, Glasgow Yu Gi Oh! versus our very own Zodiac Duels, Cam, the man, Neil, and it should be a pretty good one. Uh, if we have time, we will have Joey Lynch and Justin Delhan joining on commentary. And I'll tell Justin. So, it looks like uh, Glasgow is going first. And both of these people have pretty high ratings. Uh, camera real DN grinder. Scale Sork, so probably a Sork in hand, having to burn this unicorn turn one. Not very good unless he has a... Uh, a Magister, and ooh, never mind. It's Unicorn Necro Valley. This shuts down a lot of decks. This is a surprisingly solid two cards for turn one. Would take a really strong Pendulum Hand to be able to overcome this easily. Uh, and there's a strong Pendulum card. Uh, I don't know who you are, Zaman, but I have people coming. So uh, there is that. Ah, I can ask Dan also. So, the Slayer is hit, he can scale or summon it. And, uh, Ignister would auto-force the Kirin, and, I mean, bouncing it would just kind of be the worst, too. Uh, I guess he doesn't have a Ford and Normal summon. Ooh, Pendulum Summon 1. Kind of a dicey situation, then. Despite the no normal, uh, this Kirin's gonna get some value here. But if, uh, Cam has a trap loaded... Not only will he not have to pay for it, this Karen will get swallowed by it. Three back row, wow! So Cam must have opened pretty well there in terms of being able to fight back. So, yeah, a strike swallows uh, a pendulum summon sorcerer. He kept Kieran because that's the more power play. But now the Signister is going to swallow his scales, and he's going to be left with uh, Necro Valley Kieran X. Alright, uh. Alright, let me call the Joey Lynch. So, excuse the Skype call noise, boys, and we have the Joey Lynch joining us. Hey, Dan. How's it going? Pretty good. We've got a uh, pendulum mirror, it looks like, but uh, Nadir started with some uh, pretty non-pendulum uh, cards in terms of having to scale a sorcerer, having to play Necro Valley, so like, not very centric to his strategy off the bat. So he's main decking Floodgates? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, a lot of people tend to do that. We see uh, Secret Village and Necro Valley getting main decked more and more. Whoa. I know the Secret Village went up to like $35, but I didn't know it was being main decked now. Yeah, the only match it's really bad against is Burning Abyss. That's true. And even then, it could still hit like Allure of Darkness, uh, Regeki, stuff like that. So, uh, Odd Eyes tries to activate its effect and gets striked for its troubles. Uh, the Signister's probably staying on board. And yeah, there's a oh, game wow. one wrapped up. Yeah. So we always like to take this time to thank uh, Trollandtoad.com and Team Jobber. Without them, we wouldn't have these tournaments at all. And we're witnessing probably the last few days of Dueling Network, as it seems, uh, on this alternate server. So uh, pretty blessed to get the ability to go in and look at your deck list and chop them all up uh, for these last few days. You really think it's gonna go? 
I think so. I mean, the main sites are pressed out because of lawsuits. It's pretty serious. Do we know what company is actually enforcing this lawsuit? Uh, I had heard a name before, and now I don't remember it. And it may be like, uh, what's it called? Disclosure agreement, so I don't really want to dig into it too much. Got you. And here's a Joker, turn one, yep. and a monkey seems pretty good. Among some of the best starts you can hope for, and an upstart after. Alright, two one ofs. That's always good. Yep. So will he search the Sorcerer or the High Scale? The question is, is if, if he has a Lizard Draw, Gui Turtle, or Silver Claw to complete the other scale. Or Iris. Yeah, that too. I've started liking Silver Claw a little more lately because, like, you don't burn your Lizard Draws. It's usable I later. I agree. It's also a, a, a clutch card in order to swing over Kieran directly, just by itself. Oh, in the past, oh, no. this is not a good look no. when you give your opponent a sixth card. Cam so shuffles his hand. I think he's about to go in. And there's a Joker back. And there's oh, a Valor. Oh, Valor. That was fast. And Wait. there's a monkey wow. anyway. Oh my gosh. I feel oh like I'm missing gosh. so much. I think I need to hurry up. Wow. <laughs> and he so searches Sorcerer, has, has the high scale. Yep. yep. Will there be another Valor or a Maxi? I doubt you would have Maxi going first. Yeah, I do too. Um, from what I've been hearing about most Pendulum players, uh, going first, they'll only keep in maybe one or two Veilers. And there's the second Veiler. Whoa! So there is hope to fight back. Who is Veiling who right now? Uh, Cam just got Veilered twice. Oh my god, not But surprised. he does have a Master on field, so he can make a Dinoster here and just load his extra deck. What in God's name? This uh, Pendulum player is rebelling the XYZ Rebellion track. <laughs> you got actual X Xyz Rebellion Dragon. Yeah. Cam has a back row on top. It's looking really grim. You would have yes. to have a Centric, mm -hmm. a proper Performa Palo High Scale, and uh, here's a re Ignite Reload of all things. So he's only going to get two out of this, and now he can't draw for the rest of the turn. I used to like that card. And there is the Eccentric for his troubles. Wow. Now, is there a proper for per uh, Performa Palo High Scale? He did grab Unicorn uh, with the monkey board, so it depends if he has Kieran or something big. I would almost have liked to think that it might have been right to kill the Guitar Turtle depending on his hand. Yeah, that's true, because he didn't make Magister or anything. I think I won, guys. Yay. But he's at such low life points, I guess he had to, but... Here's the scale, and summon Joker, summon Eccentric, is that really it? Pop the Master, attack, oh, there's an Iris, oh, okay, wow. okay. Wow. But like... I, I know, like, Lightning is a real card, and the scale's already loaded. I feel like through all of this, the strike would have gone anyways, you could have killed the Guitar Turtle. I still, yeah. I feel there was a way to do this and still kill the Guitar Turtle and then, like, have him strike your Pendulum Summon, perhaps. Alright, finally I get to watch. Alright, let's see this one. Uh... So he's deciding if he wants to special it and attack or defense. Just first glance, looks like Cam's got the good, uh, good position here. Yeah, 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 I was saying that I feel like Nadir could have in some way popped the Guitar Turtle instead. And, um... I had his, uh, like, try to get his Pendulum Summon striked. And since he's not even bouncing with uh, Odd Eye's effect. But, like, if uh, Cam hadn't bit on the strike, then that would have been a really bad position here. But it's it's really hard to think that Cam can't get out of this. He can just Utopia over this, and that ears from Europe. So, and it's really late for him, too, so he may not even think, be thinking about Utopia at all. Oh. Ooh, there's the free burn. This might be game. And since it's leaving places, it's it won't get sent yeah. to the graveyard. It tributes. So, like, when it gets destroyed, it dodges, like, uh, being sent to the graveyard, I believe. Mm-hmm. Are you talking about the Ascension? Yeah. Yeah. It's the cost. Why is he sending it to grave? Does it go to grave? Yeah, it'll go to the grave. Oh. Same, same if you were to negate the Ariadne with, like, Dark Lady, which is an awful thing to do, by the way, because a lot of people don't know. Well, I know if it's in extra already it does, but, like, it's 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 activations on the field, but it goes to the extra. There's actually something different about this. 
Uh, no, it still, it still works. If you like, dark, okay. I, I know, know I know. If you solemn strike an Ariande from the extra dex activation, it'll go to the grave. Yeah, but it, it's activate activating in the extra is the difference. Archfiend of eccentric tributes as a cost, but its activation is still on the field. Mm -hmm. And then it swaps places. There's actually something about that that makes oh, it different. Oh, I see. That's kind of different. Yeah, so it's swapping places while it's trying to be destroyed. But the activation's on the field. So I think it may mm -hmm. actually stay yeah, in the Yeah, I think extra. that is different. I yep. think it does stay in the extra. It's still game, right? I'm curious why he didn't Castell. Uh, be, uh, yeah, there's already a negation. Castell would have actually been game here. I'm, unless he was fearing the third Valor... Oh, there may be. Yeah, like there's only one. And there it is! Oh, wow. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Triple Valor opening. He needs to get to uh, something here. So if it's still man, it's still game. Now, now you can still forget. Well, it's, it's not game by 50. Unless oh, there's God. a second Odd Eyes fusion <laughs> headed yeah, in here. 50 He's 50 life. off. 50 oh life. Oh man. All right, you get one card. All right. Let's Has see. he used fusion? Or, yeah, he used fusion. Has he fusion. got a loaded extra. I'm not gonna lie. Cam is in a very vulnerable position if Nadir can clear his board because he has nothing left. Yeah, if he can top deck a donkey and then like pop the uh, pop the monkey, he can actually summon monkey too. What's yeah, like any, the best? Any rank thing? four play here is yeah, pretty pretty good. Because the Arch Phoenix Centric is gonna come back and pop Utopia. Hmm. And he can, uh, let's see here, can he, can he get to Phoenix before his Pendulum Summon, too? Because he can add Skullcrow about Joker's attack to Phoenix as well. Mm-hmm. What do you got? He's got something. I don't think he's taking this yeah. one with nothing. The crazy thing is if, if... When Nadir clears the board, what will Cam be able to rip in order to win the game? Face off. Yeah, that, that's a good one. That's a pretty good one. I'll, I won't. That's pretty good. Uh, Knowing Cam, it'll happen. Probably. Access to Castell and uh, Utopia are gone, though. So uh, Diamond Dyer is the only extra deck form left of destruction, right? Has, has Cameron used his fusion yet? I don't think so. No, he has another. Iris yet. Yeah, Iris is another. That's another decent one. Yeah, fusion, iris, de all decent. Face off. Oh, that would be sick if he if he was able to clear the board and then rip fusion for game. I think he can make a realistic comeback here somehow. Yeah, I mean he has two, two or three. So he's popping the monkey all. I don't think I agree. With, I guess it depends on what he drew, but like you said, there was an eccentric in his extra deck, so. Yeah. Yeah, this this turkey can just ramp. Oh, well, I guess. Oh wait, he shuffled the eccentric back with uh, vortex. Okay. Oh, he did. He drew <laughs> it. Oh my gosh. So that monkey board. That twenty-four hundo <laughs> defense. And he actually can't swing for game because of Phoenix, which is actually kind of important. Unless there's a face-off. Yep. And there's just a battle phase. No. And maybe a set. He could draw a strike. That would be really good. Wait. Oh, did he just normal summon the eccentric because you can't pendulum it, right? Yeah, he normal. Okay. Or he pendul yeah, I guess he normal summoned it. It would have to be normal, yeah. Unless he did he already he didn't. He hadn't normal yet, no. Yeah, he just used Iris, so. Oh great! Oh no. So free what turns are a bad thing, and there's a Bumbuku. Yeah. yeah. It's getting Dep rough out here. Depending if Nadir can uh, pop his Phoenix to search another uh, Performa Pal Odd Eyes monster, this might be game because. Bounce the monkey board would just be obscenely strong. Oh, uh, he's irising it. So there is Odd Eyes uh, Monsters. What? That's. <laughs> that double damage. There's a thousand. And he's going to be able to boost it by a Performing Pal monster as well. So that's a lot of damage. So we know he has Joker in the extra. So it could go up to 43. Yeah, this is ridiculous <laughs> damage. Holy crap! If he can, if he can get rid, if he can put the Phoenix on board, this will be game. Nope. Cam is a little salty, I can tell. That fifty life points. Oh my god. This Joker in attack is extremely dangerous. 
Yeah, that's uh, I'm. Hmm. Any hmm. Iris move is going to be game now. Well, he is actually protected because he has the Kieran, and so uh. J uh oh, there's no extra. No, the Iris will still get him to extra deck cards though, because like he'll pop an extra deck monster, put uh phoenix uh, uh and like be able to get the odd eyes fusion and have a loaded extra deck monster to spin back that's true so any iris is an auto win now mm -hmm. yeah unless he has a six overlay too and is he calculating game somehow with turning monkey to attacks i'm trying to figure that out myself so he... this is a lot of okay so this is wait has he normal summoned or did he summon the mabuku this turn uh yeah he normal summoned the boom okay. i gotta add justin delhan in here where is delhan there he is yo i've been telling you i'm home yo sorry are you at the match uh, no, where, 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 it's um, Cam the Man Neil, and we have a 50 life point comeback happening right now. Oh my god. It's not, it's literally upstart 9,000 to 50. <laughs> yeah, but this he has an Odd Eyes on board that's actually going to get boosted by the Unicorn. So like that, And it does double damage. And there is a 6 oh, overlay! Is this Beyond? Yeah, right? Beyond his game. Beyond his game. And oh there it is! God. Wow, he has game! No way! Is that Beyond effect? Yeah, he's going to he's gonna boost this, and that's game right there. Is it game that's game match? right there. Wow. Oh my god. Well, that's like 8,000 something, but still. I thought Jesus. that was match. That means it sounded like Cam lost game. No, no, no. That was game. Uh, Cam won game one by a wrecking ball. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, so this 50 life point comeback in game two is just. Opening triple Valor, too. That's insane. Yeah, he had all those stuck. That's. that's he, oh my gosh. <laughs> that's one of the most pleasurable comebacks I've seen in a while. My favorite response to when you open three of a card is when people say, then don't play three of it. <laughs> it's searchable, my bad. <laughs> a little off topic, what do you think about the Utopia? I think that was out? spicy. Uh, I Imagine think if it's... it was legal for nationals. Oh my god. I think, uh, be... oh, the new Utopia. Okay. Yeah, the new one. Yeah. I thought you were That's saying Beyond. One. With the rank up spell, it's like Shockmaster for four turns, basically. Oh, Raid Raptors. Cool. Raid Raptors can throw that monster out like it's nothing. I'm not worried about new Black Wings. It's a uh, you make a Utopia and you just try to rank up magic. Cam opened monsters. really nice. Oh wow! It's hard to open better. Wow! These Valors love that ear, but not here. Nope. So he is definitely going to have two back row and possibly another, uh, or an XYZ. You think play. he's going to pop the Ariande again? Well, if he plays correctly, he's going to play around Odd Eyes Fusion. So he's got to leave one monster or one XYZ on the board in order to avoid, like, something crazy happening. Is he not activating Ariande here? Oh, did he forget? He, he just didn't activate Ariande or he can't. Or he's just yeah, gonna pop both Ariandes here. I think he drew both salt or two solemns. It would explain why he has two cards in hand. Yeah. It's not out for iPhone tonight. It's only out for Android. Or he already has one and he just needed one search. But you would still do the, the search first. I'm curious because usually going first, uh, most performer pal players leave in four traps in order to either draw one and search one or search both. No, he he definitely drew two solemns. Oh, okay. Yeah, Cam doesn't really... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He was the one who messaged me on uh, correcting my mistake in that one. And there's Guitar Turtle. Yep. And there's Lizard Draw. And we're going to see two set here at least. Set then. two, go. Or three. Who knows? Majester. He might go for the giant hand. No. <laughs> I was about to say, I wish I had room in my extra deck for a giant hand. I mean, Nadir has room for, uh... Whoa. Oh. Alright. Uh, Establishing the scale is not the worst. Uh, putting Abductor in is actually really strong. Yeah, but it can just get popped by a simple master now. True, but it puts him on a clock. Like, he not only does he have to deal with the board, fight through the back row, but he has to clear that scale. Uh, okay, we might have a giant hand here. Oh, never mind. No, no, no. No. 
I actually really don't like popping with Sork to add um, the turtle and the uh, lizard. I prefer to use the um, King of the Feral Limps. I always like to thin my deck even more to see uh, yeah, as we many cards don't. as possible. So That's not in our deck list. You, we don't you, play the you put it in defense, I guess, to avoid Odd Eyes Fusion, but why bring it out at all in defense? Uh, I don't know why that Lesser's in defense, to be honest. Well, Odd Eyes Fusion would just spin it back, but you have two back row. I guess so you don't have to force the back row. Oh, okay, so Bambuku. Cam's smart enough not to strike this, so he... <laughs> oh my gosh. There's answers. Acting like it matters. It's the same card twice. It depends. If he could have MST. He could have Twin Twister. No, no, well, it's definitely set, well, a warning would actually stop like a face off. I don't think you stop a face off here though, even if you have it, because there's a level three monster. So well, I was I was level. saying that in response to the comment, like it matters. Like oh. if you hit warning, it's obviously better. Oh yeah. Well yeah. Yeah, that's true. All right, so it can stop a mage specter from actually being normal summoned. Yeah, that's that too. Cool. Yeah. So the question is, is Nadir, Nadir just going to go for it or is he going to try to play conservatively? Well, I think, I think after two no searches, two. you know, so you have to play conservatively. There's no question. Yeah. Go Archfiend and maybe like one, maybe the, third, the thing you searched off on Buku. Yeah. That abductor is also getting pretty high at encounters as well. well yeah. Yeah. I, Honestly, Karen would be enough. He can save the eccentric. Uh, Karen is a, Karen's a threat, so you have to strike her one that. Yeah. You can, you can keep the eccentric. So he should just pendulum summon the Kieran. I wonder if Cam had a way for a sorcerer when he overlaid for Magister. Or oh, just go in. Oh, he's oh, going in. Oh my god. Uh, okay. and yeah. there's the Steerite. That's, that's yep. advised. So. And now he's without wait, sorcerer. What? Why, why would he not kill the Luster? Because that... it can just be brought back by Magister. That's, okay, that's fair. No, this game's over. Yeah. yeah. Oh my. I don't even know why. I, Double didn't... Valor doesn't save him this time. Yeah, it, like Double, he's gonna be well, able to play through know, shit. Know, if you're gonna Double lose a strike, you might as well pendulum five, pendulum four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If he didn't have anything, game. if he didn't have anything in hand to protect himself, he should have just gone all in for it. And here's yep, uh, Joker. Then he can administer beforehand. Ooh, fusion. The crazy thing was that none of them bricked, or so it seemed, because all of them opened like one ofs or really powerful three ofs. It was just, it was a matter of who went first or second. I don't understand Weird. why they're still playing. I mean, they're doing it for the show. It's a feature match. All right. Maybe yeah, Nadir side Speedroid Menko. I've played around that card once in my life. Yep. Well, if he does, he's real. Uh, I didn't, and it never happened to me. <laughs> I actually like the guy. I was a uh, YCS Atlanta. Uh, Joey topped that one, and uh, I think it was like actually round three. I was just I, I made my play and like I'm like this is game through double juggler and he's just sitting there super comfortably. I'm like he can't be this comfortable, so I went out of my way to make an infinity play that could go through one juggler, and he actually had uh, uh, the Menko with one juggler, so I played oh, through man. it. Can, can we just acknowledge the way that he says the word comfortable is very uncomfortable for me to hear? Comfortable? <laughs> comfortable. Com comfortable? He enunciates his syllables. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Maybe it's an American thing. Uh, I took like... In Canada, we only have one syllable and it's A. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm so English. <laughs> I took uh, two years of debate, actually, and they make you pronunciate a lot. So, let's go, Yu-Gi-Oh, quit. Yep, let's go, can't be free, because Cam wow. the man moves wow. on. Damn, nice Some smack deal. talk, too. You know he's not even there when you wrote that, right? Yeah, but he'll see it, and Cam <laughs> knows he'll see it. So, any final notes, guys? It was fun being here for 14 seconds. I don't know. Yeah, it was, <laughs> this was... True that. Yeah, it was very quick. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to subscribe and also check out the Zodiac Facebook and stream. The links are below. And always feel free to comment and talk about these videos.